January 7th. For the Women's Tag Team Championships, we're going to have the We Fitness Gurus and the Ship Disturbers, for, and that's going to happen. For those belts, that's right. So if the Ship Disturbers win tonight in a grueling match, the We Fitness Gurus get another chance at it. Because as far as I know, as part of the championship committee, what they want to do is they want to create another form of a tournament to decide who will get a shot for the women's championship, which it, Wendy Savage possesses, should be a very awesome pay-per-view. An all-women's pay-per-view event. This is going to be the third edition, the third annual Catfight pay-per-view. That's a nice shot right there. So far, it has been pretty much even Steven. This is the best women's tag team match I have seen thus far and that we have produced for, for, for Fantasy Pro Wrestling. So for all of you guys watching this, this is, it. This is your, pretty much your moment right now to make comments, to say what you want to say about what's going down here, what you like and what you not like. But I got a feeling... By the end of this match, there will be someone walking out with a victory, and it will be a submission style. Because pinfalls, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to pull off a, a pinfall when you have constant interruptions and shifty go-betweens. It's not that simple. You always have someone interrupting, and that's not fun, you know? But these things do happen, and this is not a, tor a tornado-style tag team where... All four superstars are in the ring. Look at that. Look at the look at the agility on, on Eliza Beth, you know? She just comes in there, performs backflips as far as she wants, or as much as she wants, and just delivers a huge crop of kicks to pain. And for a second barrage right now, look at that. Leaping out of nowhere is the ring general, the leader of the ship disturbers, Macy LeBlanc Smith. Almost halfway through this matchup now. This match is scheduled for 30 minutes. We do understand that the Hell in a Cell contest is happening momentarily. Sting and The Undertaker are about to make their way. It's going to be an amazing, an amazing match. That's all i got to say about that, fans. And I am glad that you guys are tuning in to watching this over the holidays. Tag has been made. Let the girl in for crying out loud. Eliza Beth won the gauntlet for the gold on her first try. Her debut. Very first match, very first pay-per-view, very first time winning a championship. Very first female to win the gauntlet for the gold. She struck the audience by far as one of the new stars of our company. And she was trained by none other than Wendy Savage. I kid you not. Not Alicia, Wendy Savage. Don't be surprised if one day Wendy and Eliza compete in the ring. It could very well be the case. It could damn well be very well the case. <clears throat> of course, the main event still to come. The triple threat. Championship of the Universe, Brandon Wolf, Ken Jackson Jr., and Christina Calloway. No pin, no, uh, no disqualifications, no countouts, no time limits, and no road breaks. The quadruple. Look at, look at this. I would not want to be the ship disturbers in the ring right now. Because they're getting their ass kicked here. Look at this. Payne, however, she has got a very quick submission hold tactic in her, in her arsenal, the Anaconda Vice. And if she slaps on that vice, it could very well be over. That means that the shit disturbers once again are victorious. But, as far as I know, the gurus have a good chance of winning. Because they have an automatic title rematch. Don't ask me why, I'm just a member of the, of the committee. Talk to Winger, talk to DJ, 
talk to all those people on the board. They're the ones behind it all. They're the ones that want to see it happen. One, two. Wow, two can that could have been three probably. Look at Eliza going right back. She is not gonna give up. What's this? What was that all about? At least he just comes right in there and takes over the show. Nice arm drag. That definitely Kyle has off Gerd. But able to fight back. Nice bridge. Moan me. About 13 minutes on the clock. You gotta land your submission holds. I don't even know if Eliza has a submission hold. But I know that Alicia does. Oh, look at that. That's a rope burn. Blinding the eyes. Oh my gosh. Nice punch. Nice right cross. Right on the jaw. What's this? Desecution! Very nice! But can she put on a submission hold? That's the question. She has to win this match via submission. going to be an all-out war, ladies and gentlemen. I think it already has. But wait a second. Oh my. Oh, oh wait a minute! Hold the phones! What? You're, you're going to be kidding me, ladies and gentlemen. you got to be kidding me. Did we just see a submission hold? Or was that interrupted? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know what just happened, ladies and gentlemen, but I believe we've got ourselves a victory, and it was a complete upset. Um, wow. Hit me hard, hit me fast. Fans, I don't even know what to make of this. Uh, as far as I know, even during the match I announced, there's going to be a rematch no matter what in January at Catfight, but I think we just got ourselves new women's tag team champions in the We Fitness Gurus courtesy of Alicia. We gotta roll that clip back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, wow. That's all I can say about that, ladies and gentlemen. Can we please roll that clip one more time? Just check out the reviews, just check out the video. Please let me know, do you think that would be Dean a submission? I did not see a tap out. The referee called for the bell, but we had an interruption. As far as I know, this is, this is definitely a legitimate, confi uh, confidential, um, controversial circumstance. Thank you for whoever was correcting me at home. Thank you for correcting me, if you guys even did. Ladies and gentlemen, standing by right now with Rick Rocker is Brandon the Wolfman Wolf on his reaction as to what happened earlier tonight in his match with Brett Hitman Hart. What are his reactions? How is he truly feeling? And is he even prepared to defend that championship title match, that, that, that championship belt against two superstars? Rick, the floor is yours, my friend. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is the dream match we've all been waiting for. 
the phenom of the World Wrestling Federation, the World Wrestling Entertainment. He is the dead man. He is the Undertaker. He goes up against the biggest challenge of his life. The icon, the franchise of WCW. He is the man they call Sting. This match will be contested in an iron, uh, not Iron Man, Matt, excuse me, inside hell in a cell. And ladies and gentlemen, this match will not be for the fate of heart. Let's go down or inside, lower the cell, and Tony Chimmel, take it away. Yeah.